Hey guys, welcome to the new video. Today in this video, we are going to see that how can you analyze Spotify music trends. In this video, we will be taking a dataset from Kaggle and just running some tests or analysis on that particular dataset. So, firstly, what we will do is I will go in my Brave browser. You can go here and search for Kaggle and then datasets. That's enough. You can search here for Spotify trends and take your, uh, you can see like, and take any data set. Here I have already downloaded this one. Let me show you. Yeah, this is the one. I have already downloaded this one. This has Spotify features. I will be going in this. This is our CSV file, which I got from this particular archive. So now let's uh, just a second reopen this folder again. So now, since we have to analyze here, so we will create uh, we will create a app.py here. So just go here and then type code dot. This will open your VS Code here. So. Now what you have to do is, you can see that this is our CSV file, like this contains a lots of data. Go here and type app.py. Now for this analysis, you will be needing some modules. One will be our pandas and second will be our uh, matplotlib. You can just go here. Let me show you. Just go here in new terminal. Just type pip install pandas and matplotlib this will install your required module since i have already installed this so it is showing requirement already satisfied now what you have to do is you have to import your required modules import pandas as pd as pd and matplotlib and we have to import a uh, py plot from matplotlib import matplotlib.py plot as pld okay now what you have to do is you have to create some data frames so our data frame will be df equal to pd dot read csv data read csv and our file name is Spotify features dot CSV. Yeah, this is our CSV file. Now, what you have to do is firstly, we will create a plot for popularity distribution. So, now for that, what we have to do is you have to uh, just go with this one and then popularity pop you clarity and this will be a you can say you can do anything like clarity first let's complete this one and you can plot a histogram here and you can say anything just do this one and then we have to title this and label this x label and y label also just save this one and then just show plt dot show just save this now let's try running this program you can see that this is our sky blue color and this is the distribution of song popularity since we have set the color to sky blue and edge color will be black and this is the type of histogram so these are just normal labels x label and y label and this is the title of the plot now if you want to plot you can see like balance uh, balance scatter plot then what you have to do is plt dot plt dot scatter Okay, we have to uh, draw energy and valence plot.
where alpha will be set to 0.3 and color will be purple for this color equals purple or oh, green you can see we can also take green so we are almost done we have to title this label this and show title label and show we can run, uh, run this again you can see that this is our first figure if we close this one then we will uh, we can see our second figure so this is our second figure now we can also plot similarly we can also plot uh, you can see any type of graph now let's plot a bar graph df dot group by group by genre and uh, danceability we will go, go with danceability dance ability okay then ascending is set to false and plot will be kind of bar graph color will be orange and edge color will be black yeah that's it now we have to title this okay this is just normal thing this rotation will be set to 45 and then plt just and then just plt dot show this was our first histogram and this was energy and energy versus valence plot just a second guys no uh, column not found okay let me check the spelling there must be a syntax error or you can see spelling error yeah this is the spelling of the column let's paste this one just save this one and run this again okay okay now let's just a second guys now let's check our third plot yeah this is the one for bar graph so that's all for this video guys now let's see you next time